All right, what's up guys? Today we're heading to the mountains. We got some crazy snow yesterday. Let me flip this around. Lots of snow. So I have this shot in mind. I want to get up. Um, Big Cottonwood Canyon and take the drone. I'm going to take the drone and there's this road. It's closed off now, but I can park right by it. And I'm going to fly the drone because I want the road with the trees with some snow and stuff. So I'm going to go up there and, and see what we can make. Right, so I had a little look up the mountains and it's pretty foggy up there, so I'm not entirely sure if I'm gonna be able to get this shot. But we'll go up anyway and just see what we get. Okay, got to the spot. Right behind me is the road that I'm gonna be flying over and it gets really narrow and the trees get really nice and tall. However, I'm not sure if there's snow on the trees. Like lower down, there's a lot of snow and across the other side of the valley, um, but it's looking like they may be a bit, may have melted a little bit, but I'll set the drone up and we'll go take a look. The sun's just come out. I just put an ND16 on and the sun is blaring, but I can't be bothered to change. So I'm just cranking it up to F9 to balance this out. So let's, let's take off and see what we can, see what we can find.
All right, we got the shot. I think I got the shot. The sun kept coming in and out, so I took a couple with the sun in and then the sun out. What I'm gonna do next, I can't park here, so I gotta, I gotta head around just around the corner. I'll park up and I'm gonna walk down that track with my camera and I've got a couple of ideas of a shot in mind with a yellow jacket in the trees. I was gonna use the drone, but it was getting really cold and the batteries were just going down too quickly and, and my fingers were frozen from controlling the drone. So I'll just use the camera for this shot. So let's go park up. All right, I needed a drink. So I got this out of, the, out of my trunk. Look at this, ice, it's frozen. That's how cold it is, unbelievable. All right, the sun's come out. I can't see. Oh, I left my sunglasses in the car. But if the sun stays out, this photo is not gonna be as good as I want it to be. I tell you, walking in the snow is tiring. Especially when it's at this crazy, crazy altitude. And I gotta hold up my tripod and it's so heavy. Ah, oh, I'm just complaining. It's all good. This shot. We're gonna get this shot and it's gonna be sick. It's gonna be banging, I can tell. I can feel it. I can feel it. Whew. Winter Wonderland. That's what it is. Don't you just love it? Okay, so I switched over to the iPhone because I've set up my camera for the shot and I'll give you a little look. So I'm gonna be standing right in that white box and I like how the, I wanted, I positioned the trees um, to kind of add a framing and the camera's gone to sleep. So yeah, I'm gonna go stand over there and we'll, we'll see how it turns out. Okay. Oh, got the shot I wanted. I tell you, it's very cold. I had to put the hood up to keep my ears from freezing off. I think I got it. It's kind of hard to tell on the camera. Um, but we'll wait and see until when I get back and start processing it. But goodness me, it is beautiful out here. Absolutely beautiful. All right, guys, coming in with that voiceover. Uh, at this point in the video, I just rambled on for a little bit, so I figured I'll just overlay and explain and go over the photos that I ended up getting. This is the first photo that I took with the drone flying over the road, so I'm pretty happy with how it turned out overall. Um, I did mention that the sun was coming out, and unfortunately this is the best out of the set that I got. Um, as we can see at the top, it's pretty bright on those trees and there really wasn't anything I could do about it um, except come back another time which is definitely what I'm gonna do because I love this composition I love the top-down look and the snow on the trees but it was just too much there was just too much sunlight maybe if I came at sunset it may have come out, come out a little bit better but overall I'm pleased with how it came out uh, and this will probably go up on my Instagram uh, within the next couple of days Okay, moving on to the photos with the Canon EOS R. Um, I'm pleased with both of these shots, to be honest. Um, now, I'm using the RF 15-35 to f2.8 ultra-wide angle lens, and I'm, I'm really a big fan of that ultra-wide angle feel right now. Um, the one on the left, I'm kind of leaning toward a little bit more. I tried to position myself in the open space on the right, so if we look at the photo on the right, I was trying to position myself like that, but on the photo on the left, and I couldn't quite get it. I should link up my phone to my camera so that I can get it on the screen and use it as a remote, but um, overall, I like both of these. I'm probably gonna put them both up on my Instagram as a set. Um, I just love, uh, I'm <laughs> if you've seen my Instagram, you know I love the yellow jacket, um, so, I love that it just pops really nicely against the kind of bland trees and the white snow and the subtle blue sky. So um, 
I wanted originally to kind of show some scale and I think the photo on the right does that better than the photo on the left um, to show the scale of the trees. Um, but I don't know, I could be wrong. Why don't you uh, let me know what you think out of these two photos. Let me know in the comments which one you prefer um, or like better. There's one thing that I wanted to note about this um, RF 15 to 35. There's a slight vignette on the the corners with the ND filter I had on at 15 mil, which was a bit of a problem. Um, so something I'm going to have to look into in the future. Hip hop is uh, a way of life, a way of thinking. Alright guys, thank you for tuning in to my very first YouTube video. I'll be putting these photos up on my Instagram and my handle is right here. They'll be up shortly. Um, please, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. I'm going to try and put out at least one photo vlog a week and I'll throw in a behind the scenes of my editing now and then as well. So thanks for tuning in and I'll see you guys next time.